Hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to my tutorials, to the my stream. So, and uh, what is the new in the life? So you can see now on the screen. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you can see now on the screen. Uh, today we are back to the uh, dynamic again. Sorry, long time. Uh, I didn't make any streams. So the it was the reason. Right now everything okay. So and I can back to the work. So today we're gonna start uh, again with Dynama, but I not will use some uh, miracle uh, project. We will use the project what I'm doing on the my channel already pretty long time. It's calling the La Casa de la Pura. So we will use this project to uh, relate something like in Dynama. So here's some topics what I will uh, cover in this tutorial. We will learn the mask and parameters in Dynama. This is pretty, uh, pretty main thing. So you can see it here, the mask and parameters. Uh, this pr pretty main thing in Dynama. Without that, it will be hard to uh, choose only few or then maybe only some parameters in Dynama. The second thing uh, we will uh, go deep, uh, more deeply to the true and false. You will understand, I think, uh, at all what is that true and false in Dynama, especially. After that, we will take the elevation parameters, how you can manipulate with your parameters if your elevation is different. And we will take also the materials. Uh, this is also pretty nice topic about the materials in Dynama, how you can get it, uh, how you can use it. And the levels. Levels, it's my, uh, let's say, the brilliant, uh, topic today because uh, I have a lot of the problems with the levels and I have the solution how we can solve this problem but it will be later on okay so uh, I think a lot of the people already uh, on the stream uh, by the way I changed my uh, micro uh, please let me know how the sound right now because uh, I think it's more better than it was before I hope you not listen my room like aha or something like that. Okay, so uh, we will start. I will leave uh, this task somewhere here. So maybe uh, someone who join us, uh, they will able to see what we are gonna do today. And let me uh, let me manage my windows here, and we will start to work with Dynamo today. Yeah, I think this is will be pretty enough, and for the some new. Um, viewers, they will understand clearly what we will talk about this. Uh, as you can see, here is the my uh, La Casa Pura. The, it's this uh, tutorial from the previous, uh, from the my previous video. So you can check it on, on the my challenge uh, channel. And we will go straight away to the um, to the manage, and after that going to Dynamo because today we will working only with Dynamo, not with Revit. Uh, actually, today I will show you uh, the real cases. It's not will be like uh, some uh, uh, the problems. What uh, it will be real problems in real situation. So if you are working in Revit, I think you are always have uh, kind of same problems uh, when you working with the Revit. Uh, okay, so uh, here we are. Uh, here is my Dynama. Let me I will open up a bit bigger. Uh, maybe some people want to see what will be today. I will be do it like that and we will create the new one as I said the first topic this is mask and parameters most of the people don't know how the working mask if you want to understand easily what is the mask mask it's equal to the filter so you have a lot of the parameters what you get from the I don't know from your model and you want get only few things from them but how you can do that of course you should use the mask uh, let me I will start not from the project. I will start from the some simple thing like uh, we will start from the numbers. I need the numbers. So here is the numbers as you can see uh, inside this block we have numbers from 1 to the 10. So nothing special, right? And let me say um, I need only the numbers from the 3 to the 5. I don't know. Let's say like this. Uh, let me I will write here to the 3 to the 5 and here the numbers from the 3 to the 5 as you can see so why not and actually this code block we can use right now like a mask so let me I will use the mask as you can see here is the mask the filter here the list here the mask 
Oh, sorry, we should create the list. Dun, dun. Wait me a second. Uh, special the bull. Ah, yeah, this is this is my mistake. Let me. Uh, we will start not from numbers. We will start from the families. Uh, family mm, select. I not will uh, un, uh, like explaining how you can use, for example, selection or something like that because I already did it in the previous tutorial. If you want, you can check the my previous uh, the streams. Okay, here the for example se selection we need. I don't know for a category. Let's set start from the category and I want to select the category. Let's say I want to select all category the wall. Why not? Where's the wall? I think it's somewhere deep there. Just give me a second. Here is the structure, everything like that, and here is the wall. Let me connect the wall to the wall, and as you can see, we get all the walls in my project. This is pretty awesome. Okay. So after that, I want to get the parameters. Get parameters by name. Let me connect element to the get parameters and parameter name which we want to get. Let's say we want to get the level. Level. Level, let's connect to the parameter. Let's see, not any parameter. This is not true. I think not, not any parameter. Let me check how the level is there. Let me I'll select some of the wall. I need only one wall. Okay, here wall and uh -huh. as you can see, here is the base con uh, constraint. It's not the level, it's base constraint. So we will write here the same thing. Anyway, base. And now we get the level, as you can see. Level, name of the level, like this. Actually, we can get the level by different way. We can just write the level, level, and level name, as you can see, or elevation. So the both of that will be, will be I think, the work. As you can see here, the, yeah, it's working. So you have a lot of the ways, as I said, in Dynamo, how you can get something what you want. Uh, here the level and level number one, level number one. And this is not so useful, as you can see, because name it's here. We need the name of the level only. Let me, I will find name level because I need only the string of the name. Name and level. Mm -hmm. It's here. Okay. No, let me, I will do like this. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit strange because when we're connecting our level, uh, we getting uh, we getting here as you can see the name of the um, oh yeah everything alright as you can see level one level one so I don't know why it's uh, wrong but it's working so doesn't matter as you can see here is the level one level two underground level and again level one let's say we wanna get only level one right so as as you understand, we, we can use, for example, the equal. So it should be equal. It should be equal. The x here. And y for what it should be equal? Let's say it should be equal to the level 1. And we need the string. And write exactly like the, like uh, you can see on the your screen. Level 1. Let me connect it here. And let's see. True, 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 false, false, false. So this is already topic number two, as you can see, because now we are talking what is it true, what is it false. Uh, I'm not will be explaining right now because this is next next topic, but uh, we it's everything uh, what you can see here, it's pretty close to the each other. Uh, as you can see here is the elements. We have the 108 element. Let me connect element to the list, to the list I said, and mask to the, f mm, to the mask. And what we get here, let me, I will use the watch. Let's connect into the watch and here only 51. Let me connect out to the watch, 55. So if you will uh, just uh, summarize it, 51 plus 51, you will get 108. So by this way, as you can see, we are using the mask with true or false to get only the elements from the level one yes you can say so why i need that i can use the rabbits uh, so you need that mm, to for example change some parameter let's say if your walls or some model on the level one they should get some parameter 
pretty simple as you understand let me i will save this script because we will do now one more nice thing i will call this script uh let me I will call this script just parameter right or um, maybe the stream because we are streaming and this will be stream that's it uh, right now I not will close the dynamo. I just will create some parameter new parameter or not We not will create new parameter. We will use the comment as you can see here is the comments or we will use the mark mark This is doesn't matter. Let's say uh, here is the our uh, ground level and all our walls should have the parameter ground uh, level um, uh, Upper ground let's do like that. It will be parameter upper ground you, yes, you can say like an architect, why I need that? You need that because uh, when you will work in the big architecture, um, you will get the situation when your uh, customer will use the Navis work. And uh, when they will use the Navis work, they will not, uh, how to say, they don't care where is your parameter. They want to get only the special parameter in one tab. So, and your beam manager will come to you and they will say, you should write this parameter to the some special, uh, to the some special, the parameter, just rewrite it. Yeah, you should rewrite it. For what? Only to the customer, that's it. So, okay, here we have in, here we have out, so what we can do then next? Uh, we have the parameter, as I said, comment, and let's uh, what we should we should set parameter set parameter parameter here the set parameter and now we will connect our elements to the element and here's the parameter name as you can see actually we uh, parameter name mm, let me think no not this set parameter we will do like this yes set parameter comment let I think the double M if I'm not mistaken because I'm not so yeah comments comments okay and here's the value as you can see here's the value what we should use and value as I said uh, for the uh, levels upper ground we will get upper ground let me connect to the value Done. We already done with that, so you can say this is nothing, but let's see upper ground, as you can see. And only, uh, it seems there is no sound. Really? Guys. This is really strange because actually guys uh, don't don't kidding me like that this is really strange. oh no it's the, no the sound working I just checked Oh my god, uh, I know the problem because mm -hmm. yeah, I get I get the problem. Just give me a second. I will check what the what the hell is that, and uh, we will think about. Just give me a second, guys. This is really strange because uh, if you can hear only in one, this is really f not not good for us. So what about right now?
tell me uh, I changed to the mono so it should be work right now uh, I'm waiting the comments so uh, let's continue so here's the upper ground as you can see and actually the thing now we get upper ground only for the level one uh, this is not good because I wanna uh, actually for the whole my project uh, so we already covered the mask and uh, true and now we will unswitch yeah thank you thank you uh, sorry it's uh, because I changed my as I said audio sets and now it's working a bit different and uh, it's hard to understand uh, <laughs> for now because as you know two weeks I was in the hospital okay so uh, we just will unswitch the element right now thank you guys uh, element uh, uh, from here and let's connect this elements to the directly to this element and right now all the let's unconnect uh, now all the 108 walls have this parameter except the base level and un uh, underground level sorry let me go to the underground level let me select it and oh my god as you can see uh yeah this get upper ground oh my god this is mistake so we should modify our uh, dynamo script why because as you can see um now we directly connect our all walls to the set parameter and all the walls get this parameter this is mistake now we will connect our to the elements here as you can see equal to the level one but here shouldn't be equal um, actually this is not not good it shouldn't be not equal to the underground level so let me i will find this uh, not not equal in uh, dynamo it's like this so we will use the not equal let me connect the string here here we will change the level one to the underground level level okay now we will connect it here as you can see it's changing the true and the false let me connect to the mask and now element to the list and now you will see a bit different situation let me connect now in to the element we actually then the comments now have everywhere but I will delete it from here and as you can see it's not writing again because done this is not working for that one thing so but we have also out so for that one we creating the new parameter I mean just control C control V and we will change the code block for the new parameter because this is not will be upper ground this is will be underground underground for the parameter value just a second I think it's not will be crashed because we there have some parameter or maybe it will be crash <laughs> just few second yeah I think oh yeah I think uh, the rabbit saying to us goodbye uh, yeah and sometimes dynamo it's working like that so that's why I'm not using the dynamo for the hundred percent time actually okay I will I will understand what's going on right now uh, our elements coming to the filter we are filtering by the mask and we are using the true and false like the mask then so it means true it means in false it means out so and if our wall it's not uh, underground level on the underground level it's going to the uh, to the up to do here and they getting the parameter underground if it's uh, oh I mean uh, upper ground so if it's underground uh, under the basement level it's going to the uh, second node and getting the parameter underground so as you can say uh, as you can see this is really fast to the change parameters so I think this uh, will die I will open the dynamo uh, Revit again just give me a second it happens that's why when you're working with uh, dynamo be careful with that and don't use automatical one uh, I mean the automatical create the parameters so give me a second it's not will take a, a long time and because we have the next topic this is elevation and parameter because uh, it's pretty cool when you just writing it's not on the uh, upper ground level or underground level but it's not working because sometimes the your level um, not calling like that you just using for example just level one level two level three but uh, physically your level one this is underground level 
sometimes it happens like that and uh, you not so you cannot believe to only to the name of the your level you should believe only to elevation so i will open this uh, again we are already saved as you know so i will open dynamo again it's not a big problem just a second uh, again i will go to the manage i will go to the dynamo Yeah, my dynamo is here. Awesome. Oh, too too big. My dynamo is here, and let me I'll open the what I saved stream here. Okay, so we already understand how it's working, but we wanna change the level string because this is a really bad thing. Because as I said, we always should write here what it should be. So I will delete straight away this one and we will start to find elevation. We need elevate, we need get from the uh, elevation from the element. So let me, I will try to get elevation from the element. Uh, I not I, I already not remember uh, exactly how to do that. <laughs> Just give me a second. I will try to get it uh, because sometimes it's really hard to get it. Uh, element and I need element 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 give me a second I know from the element it's not from the base it's not uh, ask it converts not convertible types so it's zero why it's zero basement level sometimes it's happen but we need to get the level just give me a second because I really forgot how to do that and projection elevation no I don't need elevation Actually, I need elevation, elevation and name. Mm, no, I need elevation from the element by elevation. Maybe level. Level, 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 level by elevation, level, 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 curve, detail, level selection. No, it's just level selection. We need. Sorry, guys, sometimes really uh, I. When I'm doing this thing, I really forgot that 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 thing. Oh, I don't wanna spend time because I already have this script. Give me seconds. I will just open my previous one. Where is that? Uh, where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Floor opening. Floor opening. Pipe regeneration. Okay, we will not spend the time. If you remember how to get the elevation from the elements, just remind me because it's really hard to remember everything. Or maybe I will just see the parameters. I need the parameters. Element, element parameters. Element. Uh huh. Element and it's. I think it's here inside. Element parameters. Just element 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 parameters okay so and we will see what the type of the parameters we have inside okay it's here area mm, we need the level where is the level let me see value is here type it's here uh, distance is here family comments comments design options minus one minus one actually it means oh base constraint but we are using actually base constraint constraint so maybe we can get elevation from the base constraint no it's we cannot get the elevation it's really strange to get elevation here we get levels yeah true but <laughs> just give me oh mm -hmm. <laughs> and constrain high oh well it's i think it's here it's uh, connecting to the top just a few seconds basic wall level connection and i need the height actually i need the height yeah guys i s i forgot it sorry i totally forgot how to get it this is my mistake here is the elevation zero as you can see. Maybe we can get elevation. Let me let me check. No, actually elevation is also zero. 
and a level to zero only the base constraint base constraint we have here but we want to get from that one elevation so elevation zero and some here as you can see oh we can do the like this so if we get only two parameters from that we can get the list uh, let me use what I can use uh, I can use actually this one I say this one oh my god I say this one and we can get elevation false 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 thank you thank you I understand you cannot get me elevation elevation by elevation it's not it's not project elevation it's also not will be working and how we can get elevation i don't know really <laughs> okay i cannot understand i cannot explain this pro uh, this pl this topic right now because i already forgot how to mm, get elevation so bad so bad guys actually we have elevation right here as you can see but uh, i don't know why it's not getting right now because it's al always was working but right now it's not working uh, maybe because i'm even using the not 21 i don't know actually the as you can see elevation here and uh, it's easily to get it just to separate name and elevation but right now it's not wanna work like i want so uh, even if i will connect to the my uh, as you can see the level elevation expect arguments type so yes i know this is arguments type differently but you can get from the element but anyway so it's not working i'm sorry for that and uh, we just will continue skip it this thing okay uh this is my mistake actually oh sorry why i did delete it because we need material actually material let me I will use the material material name here is the material name and as you can see we should connect here the material and we get we should get the material material as you can see if you will write like this you not will get anything it's happened and like this you will get the material I think only gives the available parameter for value element uh, elevation parameter is not on the wall. Actually, we can get because I did it uh, the mu much times. I should find the script uh, somewhere. I have it. Um, somewhere I have it. Give me a second. Sorry, uh, because I I know I have this uh, this one. I will connect to the my work PC. Just give me a second. I will connect to the my work PC. Because I, 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 I know I know I have it. It's working perfectly. Okay, I, it's everything here, as you can see. So I don't want to lie to you because I know this working. I need to copy it. Why is that? Aha, uh -huh, it's here. Copy, paste, close. Yes. Uh, let me, I will open the script open no wanna save mm, uh, here wall as you can see and here's the set parameter by name oh no it's not that one it's different one give me a second because i have a lot of the parameters actually at my work pc okay i'm here uh materials okay uh i think that one let me will check that one or no just give me a second i know i wanna save uh, i know i wanna show my work pc i'm sorry guys uh, i will do it fast because uh dynamo uh just give me a second uh dynamo general Uh -huh, it's here done okay so i'm back where is the dynamo dynamo is here open 
no uh, it's here it's taking the time because it's big script as you can see yeah and I remember I did it for the rooms for the walls category and uh, here it's going like this like this and yeah yeah it's here it's working level as I said it's going from the element as you can see going to the level and we can accept for the level as you can see zero uh, from the zero and true and false and changing the parameter is working so uh, uh, and he right now uh, right now <laughs> it's no one work it's really strange uh, let me I'll try to copy it the script I will just copy it and we will try to create the same one let me open up no uh, I want to open the previous previous our script the stream where is the stream it's here no let me I will copy the script here so as you can see it here and we will do the same thing as you can see oh yeah base constraint sorry it's on the Russian this is base constraint it's copying here and as you can see from the value it's going to the level elevation I will just copy it unconnect maybe I'm doing something wrong let me connect here <laughs> yeah it's not working here zero oh yeah working perfect magic as I said really perfect magic as you can see it's working uh, so you should give me give me a like for that thing because I really spent a long long time just to show the it's working as you can see okay so we get this is working and now we can uh, erase it uh, as you can see zero minus uh, something and we can say uh, if let's say no, no I not will do if I will use the only this symbol equal all or uh, less so if it's equal or less than zero <laughs> yeah it's really terrible you will get true false true false as you can see so it's if it's false it's zero it's less than zero if it's um, uh, true it's a uh, much more than zero and we can connect to the mask and right now what we get right now <laughs> right now uh, my gosh we connecting it here and what we get here inside nothing uh, guys it's really uh, some strange thing as you can see because Revit, I think, wanna kidding me. Because we get true and false, and right now level saying filter by bull mask operation, it's failed. Uh, I think some problem with Dynamo, because, uh, my gosh. Actually, I'm doing here everything same, but only I'm using it here the if statement. Yeah, I can use the if statement, but it's more hard to understand how it's working, if statement. So maybe, maybe I will try to explain how it's working. So, if you want. So I will make it some way here to not disturb you um, actually right now we should connect as you can see that thing to the test oh yeah we can get false and zero mm, okay so let me do the same thing we just will change this thing to the underground level and the round level and true and the false will just connect it here as you can see now true to the false just changing and the result we will connect uh, not to the mask because mask it's not working we will connect directly to the parameter so this is really strange but we will do that we will connect connect to the element to the element parameter name our parameter name as you know uh, what the parameter name we want to change actually I already forgot ah parameter name this is uh, uh, basic uh, no it's comments we want to use the comments here is comments sorry guys comments comments to the parameter name and value to the result no 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 it's not now not working really strange because actually as you can see everything same and it's what's working on my setup in uh, in my work because when I working uh, for the my real project uh, I need I was needed this thing 
uh, but here it's now no wanna work. It's really strange. So I I, I should think I I, I will go I, I will go back with uh, when I will find some solution for that because now it's a really strange thing. As you can see, uh, everything alright. Uh, even this script no no wanna work here. Maybe I need get some extensions like like you can see now. Anyway, it's okay. Oh yeah, uh, they want an extension. They asking me some extensions. So never mind, never mind. Okay, now you you understand like we can use the uh, elevations, but we cannot use the mask. This is really strange because here in true in the false we can use it. As you can see, it's still working here. Uh, for example, you, here I'm using the comments. As you can see, the our parameter coming here, but. Um, Okay, so never mind. Never mind about that. I'm sorry for the that 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 thing right now because I'm trying to get to share with you some knowledge. But here only only problems. It's not knowledge, only the problems. Anyway, problems. It's also nice thing because you can learn something too from the problems. Okay, we get the problem. Uh, we get <laughs> we get the problems. Yeah. Uh, but why is the mask not working? I not really get because actually our mask it's totally the same. Uh, let me check the mask here, the mask and mask here. Let me change uh, the false to the numbers. Actually, boolean operation failed. Okay, it's okay. Uh, e equal. I will use. Okay, we will use the tricky way. If it's equal. If it's equal. No. Uh, I wanna just swap false to the zero. Uh, for that one, we need boolean operation. For that one, we need boolean operation. But as you can see, this also here. Why wanna just swap? Let me. I will swap by if statement again. Mm -hmm. So sh I should explain you what is that if statement. Okay, okay, okay. And I don't need that one deleted here. And this one, I don't need that. Okay, delete, delete if. Okay, so here first will be nothing. Here first. Uh, will be uh, if it will be so test our t false coming here if it's true true will be one false will be zero yeah I changed to the number as you can see and let's connect to the mask it's still not working sorry it's not uh, un unpossible as you can see unpossible to do something with uh, dynamo right now because uh, actually uh, it's not working with the false and it's not working with the wor working with the numbers as you understand uh, actually if you know uh, in uh, machine learning no, not machine learning in machine language uh, we have two different things so uh, true and false and we have one and zero one it means also the equal to the true False. It means uh, zero. All just name the false. So we. That's why it's really hard topic to understand true and false. And but that one helping us to making some sorting. Now sorting it's not working. Maybe I need to reload uh, the Dyna Dynamo and Revit. But doesn't matter. The uh, everything the same. Everything the same. So don't think about that. I don't know how solve this problem. But anyway, anyway. Maybe I should do this thing. I already thinking about that. No, still not working. So done, done. I not will do anything about that. So uh, what I wanna make to you guys? Uh, when, for example, your level it's uh, less than zero, it's sorting, masking, and after that it's going to do two way. If it's more than uh, zero, it's going to the uh, getting the one name, one comment. If it's less, it's going to the an another way and going uh, to get another 
uh, comment and by this way you can for example making the two different comments it's really helping to you when you want to do something uh, I don't know when for example you want to separate your underground level and upper ground level so it's really helping to you okay so let me I will not uh, explain this parameter right now and uh, we will switch to the another topic because another topic it's mostly in uh, Revit I will show you one thing I will create now a new project let me I will create the new project it will be empty project there not will be anything there will be only the one schedule I will create the schedule and the schedule will be about the uh, rooms uh, here is the rooms and let me I will get the name level and I think that's it name level name will be first level will be second okay done and now let me I will load inside to the here the my project this one La Casa de la Pura but here I don't have any levels I mean rooms let me I will place some here the rooms one room second room just like this that's it nothing special let me I will save it now let's load here inside insert our uh, Revit link Revit link just place the my project give me a second here's the my somewhere here's the my project uh, tutorials and 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 complete house projects and here the last one I not will merge it somewhere here just I will place it somewhere so where is the my oh cannot be reload because it's loaded it oh yeah sorry I didn't close it let's close it let's load it again and here is my project as you can see this is Lincoln file but uh, let's say you have the really huge project Re you have like not only one building you have like three buildings five buildings or maybe you you have like one really huge building and that's why you will be separated uh, and for example all all documentation you will be do on one separate file on separate project you will be there do uh, documentation for all these small buildings and you will get one problem if you will go to the level uh, room the uh, schedule let me I will here the include elements from the link here is the my levels this is coming from the uh, from the links but you cannot sort it by level yeah I don't know why after this did it but if you want to sort by level or I mean the filter by level you unable to do that as you can see you have the name you have the none but you don't have the level but what if you no need in this schedule the some levels you will be hide it I don't know on the list this is really stupid thing because if you have the big project you don't have a time to do that and this is not beam technology so the first question what you will do uh, yeah you can sort it by level yeah why not you can sort it by level but what you will get nothing so for that one I will go back now to the my previous project let me I will go now to the this project uh, uh, for that one I should close it I think yeah I, wish I will close it we will create the new one it doesn't matter we will go go back to the previous project and now we will place some more uh, floors uh, I mean the level uh, rooms on the second floor let's place some more rooms like this we have a lot of the rooms it's okay for us and if I will select my room we should create the some parameter we not will use dynamo for now no worries as you can see we cannot uh, sort it by level so what we have do? we should create the new parameter let's create the new parameter by shared parameters shared parameters I have the special tutorial about that just check it out if you want so here is the my shared parameter I will create the new one new one shared parameter new group and I will call it room why room because all the parameters uh, which I will uh, include on this group will be only for the rooms and this parameter I will call the S like a special level S level and this parameter will be only text where is the text the text is here let's say okay let's say okay if I will select my uh, room as you can see this is parameter you not will find it because we should now apply this parameter for these rooms for that one we're going to the project parameters and added this parameter shared parameters select and here as room level and now for what 
for what the type of the category we wanna apply this parameter. Let me find it here. Lev uh, I need find here the room. Here is the room, as you can see, where is that? It's here. Let me, I will select it. Let's say okay. Let's say okay. Now, if I will select my uh, room, we will get S level. So, and we can write here anything what you want. Yes, we can use Dynamo for now. Yeah, why not? We can just transfer the name from here to the here. Yeah, let's use it. This is really fast. And I, I, I don't think so. We, we will get any error from the Dynamo. Please, God of the after desk, give, give us this chance to do it without any problem. Uh, we need select. Uh, we need the select. This is really, uh, I, I, I promise you this really fast. Uh, we need category. We need only the categories. We need the rooms. Uh, rooms, rooms, rooms. Why is that? Here. Let me connect rooms, rooms, the category. After that, we need set parameter. Set, uh, get parameter first. Get uh, parameter. Get parameter. Let me connect uh, to the here, to the element, and we get uh, should get parameter level because uh, the room have the parameter level. Uh, level. Okay, so let's connect to the parameter, and after that we need set parameter. Set. As I said, as I said, this will be really fast because we already under finish. Set parameter. Uh, okay, element to the element parameter name uh, will be s level. This is our new parameter, as you know. Don't forget the scores. Let's connect it here. Just let me check. This is uh, we are using the uppercase or no? Uh, yeah. Uh, and value to the value. Done. We already done. We already finish. If you not believe me, select it. And as you can see, S level level two. We just transferring this parameter here. Okay. Now we can close Dynamo. We don't need it anymore. I not will save it. And now we will save this project. I will save this project and I will create the new project. Let me. I will create the new project again. Again, we will try to filter by level. Here is the new project, as you can see. It's not any magic. Uh, insert and let me insert the our file which we change it. Uh, oh, we cannot insert because we should close it first. Let me I will close it and let me I will close it again. Now let's link the our file. My PC. Uh, sorry, you can see everything on the my disk, but I don't think this is a secret from you guys project and here's the my project let me load it here and let me create the new schedule new schedule i need the room room and as i said we need the level and we need the name first will be name here we are as you can see not any parameter because we are not included from the links from the links here is the levels level one level two and this is a moment when you wanna filter it and you want to get only level two only level two here not any project as you understand you will get uh, as i said you can get in this file a lot of the link links file a lot of different buildings and you want to calculate only level two for whole project and that's why you don't want to do it manually so let's go to the filter and as you can see here is not here is not this parameter so how come because it's not parameter not included in the project so we will add it right now. Manage parameter project parameter add shared parameter select S level and for the rooms. Ton ton ton. It's not still here. How come? How come? <laughs> I got of the rabbit. So what are you doing with us? S level is here. Why, why it's not coming here? My gosh, again, again, some problems, again, again, but uh, mm. it's not coming again here. Mm. Oh my gosh, what, what's going on? I'm trying to show you something really interesting, what you can use, uh, what I'm using every day in my work, but every every time we're getting some problems. Oh, maybe because this is variation the group, but I don't think so because uh, it's not even the showing us this parameter on the fields. Yeah, on the field. Oh, it's sorry, I didn't include. Oh my god, I didn't include it because that that the thing. So we get the as you can see, we can s now select this column, uh, modify to change and hide this column. Now you cannot see this column, but if you will go to the filter, it will be here. Yes, as I said. 
it will be here and the parameter exists so for example equal equal to the i don't know level level 2 but here yeah you should write the manually here level 2 and as you can see only level 2 yeah a lot of the parameters you cannot filter uh, from linking files so just be careful with that uh, it's not your mistake actually it's not uh, Afterdesk stupid Afterdesk doing that because the your levels can be different in different files this is uh, actually this is true things and that's why they no wanna for example your level one in one, bu one building maybe it will be level four in another building uh, the same height but different names of the level that's the problem and but when you're working on your project you sometimes need this type of the parameters so after this cannot make some um how would say it, some average parameter or some uh, parameter for everything so that's why you should find uh, something like i did right now you should find some way to create it uh, Right now, as you can see, actually, uh, if I will unhide it, you will find here the S level, and it's still here with us. Yeah, it's totally a copy of from our level. But one thing you should remember, uh, if you will add some more extra levels or rooms uh, in your uh, some linked files, you should go back there and using Dynamo again. So, uh, because if you will create the new rooms they not will have this s level parameter because it's not automatic one so you should use again dynamo script they will uh, transfer from the level this parameter to this s level and done so and no it's not any problem actually you can don't use for example the filter if you want here you can more do only use the s level you just can rename it you can create for example uh, the new name for that one I don't know new parameter and this new parameter will be on the S level like that as you can see so uh, this is only up to you guys so if you want to do something like that you able to do that okay I hope this was really really useful for you the last one I hope it's really useful uh, because really uh, when I'm working in my project we have a lot of the buildings in one side and sometimes it's really hard to manage it so this is the problem so what do you think about that uh sorry a long time long time i didn't say anything to you guys a uh, long time i didn't make uh, new videos uh, because uh, as you know i was get the COVID, and i was in the hospital and um, that's why it's it's not any new videos in my channel i hope in uh, this week i will create some new uh, tutorials I will continue work with the my uh, project uh, La Casa Pura, so and we will finish it uh, soon. Actually, I, I know this is uh, not uh, interesting for the some people the La Casa Pura because uh, they wanna some action. But I wanna get first uh, tutorial in YouTube when you can create the building from the zero to the render, and we will do documentation. We will do anything. We will do some detail view some details things so everything i want to make in this project i want to do it's finish at 100 uh, percent i know i not will get views for that one but you will get the nice project in your case so as you can see it's still already under work here is a lot of work now we have only the amazing four but still now it's already working we already have the concrete walls blah 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 and everything so so guys i think that's it for today <coughs> i just will ask you one thing uh please let me know uh below the comments or somewhere where you want uh what the next topic you want on the stream because i want to make really huge topic on the stream uh let me uh know about your uh things what you wanna what you wanna see on the next tutorial you can write me on under the telegram if you want your my telegram telegram you will uh, find under the uh, description so right there your any desire and we will do this in the next stream but for today i will finish uh thank you for watching me thank you for all this your message what i get uh with like god bless you blah 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 <laughs> thank you for that one it's really helping me and uh, i feel it like i need to do more tutorials than i'm doing right now so See you the next week, I think.
uh, the tomorrow you will see the new uh, new episode of the La Casa Pura so just stay tuned and you will see it in the next tutorial tomorrow thank you guys and see you next time